Hello friends, my name is Tofik and you're watching my channel Graphics 10. So in this video, I'm going to tell you how we can copy something in perspective in Photoshop using a very simple method. So let's get started. So let's say I want to copy this in perspective over here. So if we use the usual method, the clone stamp tool. Now using clone stamp tool is very easy. We have to press alt plus left kick. So it will copy the area and we can simply draw this wherever we want to copy this but as you can see the perspective isn't right so even if we use polygonal tool and try to copy this even then the perspective won't be right i will show you control c control v or command c command v to copy and paste so it will look something like this even if you rotate this the perspective isn't right now we can use transform and distort method so it will take some time but what if i tell you there is a simple way to achieve this so we need to use the vanishing point filter and using vanishing point filter we can achieve this very easily so for that first create a blank layer so that we have more options in our hands so by creating after creating the new layer go to filter and vanishing point create plane first using create plane tool now as you can see the full picture is not visible so we should make use of the whatever picture is available and make the selection as accurate as possible or rather create a plane as accurate as possible so make sure the lines are straight so this looks good to me and we just need to extend the plane so as long as we have uh, blue lines our plane is correct if we have red lines then we are making some kind of mistake so this is pretty accurate so press ok now before pressing ok we can simply copy this using this plane now uh, choose the stamp tool and we want to copy this over here so again pretty much similar to the clone stamp tool to select this press and hold alt key or option key if you are using mac and left click so it will copy this area and now simply draw it over here so it will copy and as you can see it will copy exactly in perspective and it uh, doesn't really matter it's okay if you draw more area than required as you can see over here there is some extra area extra unwanted area so that is okay we can remove it because we have created a new layer that is the benefit of creating a new layer so that we can remove this unwanted area later on now let's say i want this area over here as you can see the perspective is accurate and just make sure that you are drawing it properly so that the every every portion of the frame is visible so this looks good to me and if you are still not happy zoom it a little bit and then copy it now this looks good to me now once you are happy with the result press ok and as i told you earlier that there is some unwanted area over here as you can see so as we have created a new layer we can simply add a layer mask and using the brush tool remember when you use layer mask and black color hides and white color reveals that is the way of using layer mask so we are choosing black color and choose a soft round brush so that it blends with the background and we can always remove the unwanted area and if we delete some of the area by mistake then we can again bring it back using the white color so this looks pretty good to me now this we have drawn in perspective and what if we want something else like different image in perspective in this image we can also do that let's say i want this picture to be placed in perspective over on this wall so i will simply select this entire image 
यू कैन सिंपली प्रेस कंट्रोल ए और यू कैन गो टू सिलेक्ट एंड सिलेक्ट ऑल एंड कॉपी कंट्रोल सी और कमांड सी टू कॉपी ना वी नीड टू मेक श्योर दैट वी आर ऑन द बैकग्राउंड लेयर इट सेल्फ सो कंट्रोल ए कंट्रोल सी टू कॉपी एंड गो टू फिल्टर अगेन नाउ वी नीड टू क्रिएट वन मोर ब्लैंक लेयर वन मोर ब्लैंक लेयर सो दैट वी वी हैव सम मोर ऑप्शन अवेलेबल ब्लैंक लेयर गो टू फिल्टर वैनिशिंग पॉइंट एंड रिमेम्बर वी हैव ऑलरेडी क्रिएटेड अ प्लेन वी जस्ट नीड टू पेस्ट इट सो कंट्रोल वी एंड मेक श्योर बाय यूजिंग द ट्रांसफॉर्म टूल द साइज इज करेक्ट सो आई एम जस्ट रिड्यूसिंग द साइज सो दैट इट डजेंट गिट टू बिग एज यू कैन सी I will undo this. I will reduce a little bit more, and then I'll place it on a place where I want it. So, using the transform tool, the shortcut is T to transform. As you can see, the perspective is correct. So, let's say I want to place it over here. And if you want to copy it, simply press Alt key or Option key and left click. so it will copy the image but for now i only want this one picture as you can see the perspective is pretty accurate and whenever you are happy with the placement just press okay so this is how we can copy anything in perspective now let's say if you want to add some shadows as we have created a new layer we can add shadows using the blending options and drop shadow option now i just want a soft shadow so i have already decreased the opacity to 33 so adjust accordingly and if you want to change the color spread size everything according to this and this looks pretty good to me shadow so this is how we can copy anything in perspective in photoshop looks pretty neat to me so If you find this video useful please give this video like and subscribe to my channel I will see you in the next video until then bye bye and cheers